What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, The Network. And today's topic is latency. To be specific, is UDP latency. They ain't put that in there, but yeah, UDP latency is subsection 1.5B, Bravo, of the CCMP route exam, exam code 300-101, version 2.0. This is a subsection of section 1.5, describe UDP operations. Let's go ahead and look at the exam blueprint, see where we came from, where we going. All right, here we go. This is the blueprint 301.01. We just wrapped up starvation, or also known as TCP starvation, and we are at section 1.5B latency, UDP latency. After that, we're gonna wrap this section up and then move on to section 1.6. But now we're doing latency. So we talked about what latency latency was in the TCP section. Explain TCP operations, latency, right? That's TCP latency. Right now we're doing UDP latency. So you can experience tra uh, latency with both TCP traffic and UDP traffic. Now, before we get into the difference, let's talk about what latency is. Again, in case you, you know, just happen to stumble upon this video and you ain't seen the last latency video. Uh, latency is basically a delay that you have when you send the traffic and you come in and you send and, and you expecting a reply back, but the reply took longer than expected. That longer than expected, that delay is latency. Real life example. Go to my boy house. I usually go to my boy house in case you, you haven't been watching these videos. Go to my boy house. It takes me 30 minutes to get there. It takes me 30 minutes to get back. We know my round trip time is an hour, right? 30 minutes, 30 minutes. That's an hour. But next time around, I take. I go again, it took me 30 minutes, but this time it took me 45 minutes to get back or whatever, an hour to get back. When we know that my, my delay, we got a 30, we got a 30 minute delay, whatever, it, if it took longer, if I had ran into traffic or I stopped somewhere, that delay that happened above the hour would be considered latency, right? So you can experience latency with TCP traffic and UDP traffic. If you don't know the difference between that, Go on my other last videos and explain that. Or if you haven't stumbled upon, you ain't got time for all that. We'll explain that again. TCP traffic has this three-way handshake before it starts communicating. UDP don't do that. It just sends its traffic as fast as it can, and it don't care what's going on with TCP traffic or what's going on with the network. It just keeps happening, right? But the problem with this is UDP traffic is made for uh, applications such as VoIP, or also known as voice over IP, phone calls, right? But it's over the internet, really. It's also used for video streaming or uh, RTP traffic, which is, I believe, is real-time, real transfer protocol traffic. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll put a link in the description below. But UDP traffic is made for that kind of stuff, for streaming and video and, 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 and voice over IP. Now, you can experience latency with UDP traffic and like I said it caused it, it's for videos and stuff right so if you have latency you're gonna run into actually you're gonna run into somebody looking like this guy you're gonna have your users looking like that yeah he's still waiting from the last video with, with TCP traffic now he experienced latency with UDP traffic let me give y'all an official definition we ain't going over no commands it's just gonna be theory today um if you want you know you could you could kind of uh um investigate the slowness or latency in your network with you know with ping you can do a trace route you see look look at the high look at the round trip times remember round trip is the round trip time is basically the time it took me to get somewhere and come back so when you send in a ping you send in a ping you were expecting a, a, a echo reply that's your round trip time if you got high round trip times that's latency Ping can give you all. If you do a ping, if you do a ping command, you can get that. If you do, tr do a trace route, you can get that. It'll be given to you in milliseconds. The high milliseconds, that's going to be where you experience the latency at in your network. Uh, you can use, you can go to speed, uh, I believe speedtest.net. That's, that's basically ping, really. Anything you see high milliseconds, high round trip times, that's where you're experiencing latency. Uh, we ain't going to go over all of that. We just we just uh, need to know the theory behind it so we can get through this exam. So official definition from Cisco, the time required for a packet to travel from its source to destination. Again, ping. You left, came back. But when you came back, it took longer than expecting. 
latency. So with UDP latency, let's talk about this again. TCP traffic does this three-way handshake, as you can see in this video right here. You got one computer saying, hey, are you getting all of this? No, slow down so I can act, so I can save accurately or actually receive some of this stuff accurately. They're going to they're go to source right there in, in the watermark. I, I was going to source it, but they already watermarked it, whatever. So, like I said, TCP traffic expects acknowledgments. This is called um, connection-oriented traffic because it's, it's waiting for a connection, and then, and then it starts communicating. UDP traffic, it don't do that. I've said this multiple times in these videos. If you hadn't gotten it by now, if you've been watching these videos, you get that. UDP traffic, like I said, it don't it don't care. It just keeps sending traffic. It don't it, it's like, oh well, if it don't get there, oh well. You get drop packets and stuff like that. Now that's an issue. It doesn't do a three-way handshake. It just send the traffic. If it don't get there, oh well. That's considered connectionless traffic because it don't need a three, it don't do the, the three-way handshake. It just sends the traffic and hope that it gets there. That's why you see in this video or in this in this slide right here, he says, are you getting all this traffic? Who cares? Just send it faster. When you get these, when it's going too fast for the for the receiving end, this guy right here, you get what's considered, um, you get latency and you get this jitter right here. So when you have video applications, your, your jitter and loss start to look like this right here. That's latency. That's what happens with your video applications. When you're doing a, when you're doing a voiceover uh, IP call and you get you get that you get like you you're talking to somebody and you hear like drop phone calls or it don't sound like he sounds like a robot or he sounds like he underwater. That's the UDP latency that you're experiencing. That's what that's why it's bad. We don't want latency. We don't want latency with TCP traffic or UDP traffic. But this is the kind of latency you'll experience when you're um, with your UDP traffic. Now, what are some of the solutions to that? BQM, that stands for, I believe, Bandwidth Quality Manager. That's like a feature that's um, that's in, Cis in Cisco iOS. That's beyond the course of this exam. I'm not going to go too into that. Um, if you want to look into it, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, another thing to do is increase your bandwidth. Basically, you call your ISP and be like, hey, man, this network is too slow. You don't have to. You gonna have to order some more bandwidth. That's 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 a, that's a simple solution to, to do it. It's easier said than done because it's gonna cost money to do that, right? Um, there's also different tools that you can use. Like I said, I'll put the links in the description below. There's TCP optimizer. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put the links in the description below. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, we're going to keep this video short and sweet. There wasn't no, uh, wasn't no hands on today. This is mostly theory. For now, comment, like, subscribe to the network.